it's Mike Goodall. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the Triangle Shopping Centre here in the heart of Manchester for the official weigh-in for tomorrow night's World Championship Boxing live on Sky Sports Box Office promoted by Frank Warren in association with Don King and uh, sponsored by Russian Premium Vodka and Planet Hollywood. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to begin with the WBO Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Please, first to the scales, the number one contender challenger from Puerto Rico. Please welcome Roman Martinez. Puerto Rican, he's at 121 fights, 12 inside the distance, no defeats and just the one draw. He's 26 years old, which is three years younger than Nicky Cook, and he is the bookmaker's favorite. He's about to step up on the scales now, and he has to, to make the nine stone four super featherweight limit. That's 130 pounds. Uh, what do you know about him, Ian? I think he's a very solid operator. Um, I don't think he's absolutely exceptional, but it's hard luck really on Nicky Cook that he straight away has to fight the mandatory challenger, a guy from Puerto Rico. You don't get too many bad fighters from Puerto Rico. And this fellow all week has given the, the impression that he really means business here. I think it's going to be a close, hard fight and might even go to a controversial points decision either way. Yes, Nicky Cook, of course, uh, won a split decision victory over Alex Arthur when the two met at the MEN Arena, where, where, where they'll be back. He'll be defending his title tomorrow night. But uh, Cook, I think he says he's had an injection of confidence uh, since winning the world title and he, he's, he feels himself a better fighter more sure of himself but this is a big test you know there's a little bit about the Daniel Alisaias just looking at uh, uh, Roman Martinez the, the chap of course that came over and knocked down Amir uh, 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 Nassim Hamad famously but here here he comes on the scales now let's see if he makes the nine stone four limit so quite he Right, big legs, strong looking legs. It looks like he's made the weight. 129 pounds. So he's one pound. Roman Martinez. One pound under the super featherweight limit, and he's just uh, looks like a pretty muscle bound, tough looking character, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, number Three one pounds. is what he's saying to the camera there. And now, I mean, he the wins to win the world plays, title. The current WBO it is a formidable challenge for Nicky Cook. He's being called to the scales the now. From Dagenham, Nicky. Cook! Nicky Cook, uh, 29 years of age, he's uh, had 29 victories, 16 inside the distance, only one defeat, that defeat in a challenge for the world featherweight title against the American Steve Luravano. He won the title, of course, as I said earlier, against Alex Arthur uh, last September in the Manchester Evening News Arena ring. Of course, he's trained by his father, Paul. They've been out in Tenerife in the build-up to this. Uh, they're enjoying the, the championship, aren't they, Ian? Yeah, they are. Cook's come back well, really, from that defeat by Luavado. I think he's much happier at Super Feather. 130 pound exactly, eight stone, four pound. So Nicky Cook exactly on the Super Featherweight limit, and now we'll get the two boxers squaring up, and you'll, and you'll see that uh, Martinez is a slight, slightly taller, although in actual fact, mm. Cook looks taller. The official listings are five foot six and a half for Cook, five foot eight for Martinez, but if anything, Cook looks taller there. Yeah, there's nothing in it between them. They're two solid operators. It should be a very good fight on the undercard, this. Yeah, Nicky Cook, a uh, very busy fighter, comes forward, two-fisted attacks, and of course, we know what Puerto Ricans are like uh, in terms of aggression. Uh, these two won't have to go looking for each other, we think. So now, if uh, Marco B Antonio Barrera is still absent, we should... I think Barrera has arrived, that's what I'm hearing, Barrera has arrived, Finally, so he's then. somewhere backstage. Maybe they, they struggled getting enough taxis for that 40-strong entourage he has. That's, that's probably what it is, but... Uh, <laughs> Just a matter of time, I think, before we see that. Are they going to weigh in the Macaronelli fight first? I'm not sure. They're going to do the main it's one. It's the I main think. event. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, uh, Mike Goodall is about to call it the two main event. And now, ladies now. and gentlemen, the weigh-in for the tomorrow night's main event for the WBA and vacant WBO International Lightweight Championship. Firstly, to the scales, please. Please welcome to England the man who hails from uh, Guadalajara in Mexico. He's the seven times three-weight world champion with a 71-fight professional record, winning 65 times. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the baby-faced assassin, Marco Antonio Barrera. Whoa. 
what a reception for Marco Antonio Barrera. You would almost think that he was the home fighter here, but such is the regard for this three-weight world champion that uh, his supporters sound as though they're drowning out cans. But uh, he's been through this all before, Ian. He, know, he knows the ropes here all right at this level. He's been to Britain before too. He knocked out Paul Lloyd in a round at the Royal Albert Hall several years ago. That was a mismatch. Tomorrow shouldn't be. This is business as usual for Marco Antonio Barrera, but my goodness, this is now his 73rd professional contest. He turned professional at the age of 15. Uh, he's been, as I say, a world champion at three weights, a seven-time world champion altogether. And his main ambition is become, to become the first Mexican to win four world titles at four different weights. And of course, he has uh, Don King in his corner to help make that happen. He's about to step on the scales now, and he needs to make the 135-pound nine-stone nine lightweight limit. And you see that he doesn't have an overly muscled physique because, of course, he began his career down at super flyweight. And it looks as though he may be over. They're pointing at the scales here. Let's just see. Three ounces over. So uh, he's just over the nine stone nine limit. Just three ounces over. So I think he may be having to uh, just strip naked to try and see if he can take those last three ounces off. We'll, have to, we'll cover this as conservatively as we can. <laughs> Well, fighters do have to do that. Three ounces over, I can confirm that. Yeah. But this is remarkable, really, when you think his career was at super bantamweight, yeah. then featherweight, super feather. Yeah. Here he is up another five pounds at lightweight. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's not much. It's nothing. He's made it. He's made it. And 35 yeah. pounds. Exactly. Exactly. 135 pounds, Marco Antonio Barrera. So he's made it at the first time of ASCII, even though he's had to surrender a little modesty to do that in the process but yeah I don't think there was any doubt but what do you, what do you make of the way he looks here just his body shape at this higher weight he, you know he, he doesn't look you know overly muscular and now ladies really. and gentlemen no and I don't think the he scales, is the he was he's much slower the now and the skin Commonwealth looks a bit older but and he would WBA be he's to international like champion with a 25 fights. professional record but, uh, he looks consisting of 19 wins and let's see what loss. kind of reception oh, Amir Khan gets now here he comes tumultuous reception from Amir Khan in front of his home fans although the crowd of Mexicans behind us uh, are trying to, to drown out those cheers but Amir Khan looks well he's got a smile on his face actually as he steps on the scales here let's see if he can follow Barrera to make the limits I think he is right on the limit. 134 too. and a half pounds just half a pound inside but uh, he looks in tremendous condition, of course, so he's much, much taller than that. You'll see we, how much yes. taller here, look. And we should just be able to get a very quick word with Amir Khan as he steps off his heels. Yes, uh, Khan, much the taller. And uh, the two men not making eye contact quite noticeably, but it really is a battle of the ages. You can just tell that from looking at them. Amir Khan still looks like a fresh-faced youngster. Marco Antonio Pereira, a ton of experience in his face. What I like about Amir Khan is he looks very, very relaxed. Excellent, that. Well, let's just find out exactly how relaxed he is because we're just going to grab a word with him now, if we can. Amir, let's just see if he just has a quick drink and let's see. Uh, we're just going to get a quick word with him now after he's got his trousers back on. So, uh, Amir, uh, you look incredibly relaxed. You've uh, just made it at the first attempt. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel good, you know, I feel good. Um, this is the one fight making the weight. The weight's been good, you know, I'm half a pound under. And I'm ready for it, man. You know, people think I'm nervous, I'm scared. Yeah, I'm ready for this fight. You know, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the best shape I can ever be in. I've done the weight easy. And I just can't wait for Saturday night, man. I'm ready for it. Just finally, what's in your mind? How do you think it's going to go? This, what in your mind, how do you hope this is going to go? Well, you know, I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a tough fight. Uh, but there's only going to be one winner. You know, the only one winner is going to be me. You know, I've trained so hard for this fight. There's only going to be one winner, that's got Amir Khan. You know, my hand's going to be the one that's going to be raised up in the fight. Amir, we wish you all the very best. Thank you very much for talking to us. Yep. Uh,
good that Amir Khan just briefly stopped us there. But uh, yeah, chaotic scenes, organized chaos, as it always is. At, uh, Ian, at the briefest of words for you now, he believes he can do it. What do you think? I'm really impressed with how bullish he seems, how relaxed, how confident he seems. No sign at all of him tensing up on the, on the eve of the fight. That's all good signs, I think. And um, I think, you know, if you force me into a corner, it, it's a pick'em fight, really. But I think I'm going to go for Khan here. OK, good stuff, Ian. But I have to say, uh, the, the opinion on this really is split. But that's why we watch uh, top quality sport, I suppose, because we don't know what the result's going to be. <laughs>